Hello, my little YouTube glamour pusses. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good weekend. I did. I had a very good weekend. I, uh, I shot some sketches and went to a beach party with Lisa Pisa. It was fun. Um, so today, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to do one because um, I am a makeup artist as well as an actor. Um, so I figured I would do a basic evening look and show you guys how to do it. You've probably seen me wear this specific one a bunch of times. It's like my go-to my go-to makeup look. Um, yeah, so sorry if you're a dude and you have no interest in watching this. Hopefully I'll, I'll try and talk about baseball while I do it. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> As we learned from the last video, I'm not good with baseball words. I appreciate baseball, but I guess I'm more into hockey and football. Crazy. Anyway, um, so let's begin. I will start um, by putting on foundation. Uh, foundation, I think, the most important thing about foundation is matching the color of your skin. Uh, so that your makeup doesn't look like a mask, and having something uh, moist enough so that it sort of uh, seeps into your skin a little bit. Everyone has different skin, so products vary, vary you know, according to your skin type. I like a lot of different foundations, but I'm going to do a cheap one today for, so that people can see some affordable stuff. I use this Alme uh, Line Smoothing Compact Makeup in Naked. Um, it's a great everyday foundation. Not expensive. Really good. Um, so I'll start by putting that on. Uh, I just use the sponge that comes with it and um, concentrate mostly on the parts of your face that turn kind of red, like around your nose and under your eyes. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so a lot of the time when I'm doing someone's makeup, they ask me how I became a makeup artist, and I don't have like I don't have a tr traditional makeup artist's training or anything. Um, I started out as a painter, and uh, and I really love products, and I've always been into putting on makeup. Um, and then when I would be in plays, everyone would ask me to do their makeup before we went on stage. So if you're in a Shakespearean play, that's like 20 people sometimes. Um, so, and then after that, people would ask me to help them with their headshots and events. So I just started, while I was just being a regular actor, kind of doing it as a favor, and then people started paying me. And now um, I do it sometimes as a freelancer. Um, it's funny, I never would have thought that I would end up doing it, but, but I do love makeup, so it makes sense. Um, and I love, I have always loved putting makeup on boys ever since I was like little. I've always loved doing it. It's like a weird fetish, I guess. <laughs> Um, and at the station, I get to put makeup on boys all the time. It's so fun. Um, transforming a man's face into a pretty face is always a good challenge. Um, Alright, so I've obviously never done one of these makeup tutorials before, and doing it into the computer is actually kind of hard instead of doing it in front of a mirror. Um, but we're rolling with it, right babies? We're rolling with it. Here we go. All right, I think I'm done. Smushing it in. I like to put put my fingers on it because then it really, there, if there's any like streaks or stripes, the warmth of your fingers will smush it into your skin. Make sure your fingers are clean, of course. All right, so there's foundation. Yay. <laughs> um. Next step is bronzer. Um, Hula from Benefit. It's been in my purse for a really long time, so it looks a little worse for wear. But um, it's just sort of a brick of, 
brown, but it's a really good color, and it, it actually goes on a lot of people. Uh, because I've done a lot of makeup artist work on a lot of other people, I can tell you what, which things are sort of universal and which things are very specific person to person. Foundation, obviously, very specific person to person. With bronzer, this goes on a lot of people and can be used as powder on someone with darker skin. Um, it's very finely milled and it goes on really nicely. Um, it doesn't streak or do anything weird. Um, so here I am doing, this is a little bit of a, like contoury work. I go under my cheekbones and, um, and blend and then I put it on my nose and my forehead, just anywhere the sun would hit. Obviously there's too much on right now and I'm gonna rub it off. Um, anywhere the sun would hit and then it looks like you naturally have bronzed skin. So then I just rub it in so it looks more natural. See there, it looks like I was maybe in the sunshine for a little while, which is almost never true, <laughs> I'm always at work. Um, yeah, so there's me with a pretend tan face, um, and it did some sculpty. See, it did some sculpty business right there. Makes it look like I have like high cheekbones or something, which I don't. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Um, okay, and next I'm going to put on actual blush just to, for the apples of the cheeks in a rosier color. I'm going to use this uh, NARS Super Orgasm because who doesn't want that on their face? Um, yeah, it looks like this. Uh, normally I use Orgasm, but I have this right now. It's a little bit sparklier and a little bit rosier, I think. Maybe just sparklier. Um, just on the apples of the cheeks just there, just to add a little bit of rosiness. Um, it's important not to put on too much blush, because then you look drunk. <laughs> um, so there's that. Do I look like I've had a super orgasm? <laughs> hey, so the makeup that I'm showing you how to do today is this is going to end up looking like this, but because this is my first makeup tutorial, um, it's really long. So I'm just, today I'm just showing you the foundation and blush part, and then the next time I'll show you eyes and lips. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to put up more behind the scenes from Hot Girls, and then maybe the next day I'll show you the eyes and lips, okay? Um, this kisses. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope um, you get Eskimo kissed by someone you love. And if not, then I just Eskimo kissed you, and that should be good enough. Good enough. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go now, do some stretching, maybe some yoga, because I'm making this at 6 o'clock in the morning, and that is ridiculous. And I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.